Hello everyone, my name is Larry and today's presentation is going to be on price comparison and like price comparison websites. Um, so we're going to go over what is what is a price comparison website, pros and cons of price comparison websites, Google Shopping, Yahoo Shopping, alternative websites, and a live demonstration. So what is a price comparison website? A price comparison website acts as a price analysis tool that compares the prices of products and services from a range of companies. They can also help you make the best financial decision about which product or brand to invest in. See what's available online, find good deals, and read reviews. Some pros and cons are pros, you save money, you also save time and there are many choices offered. Some cons are they aren't very used much by companies and vendors, no additional help provided, and loss of human interaction. So Google Shopping is one of the best price comparison websites. It has many categories you can compare within, and it's very simple. And we have a link where you can access it as well. So how to use Google Shopping? There's a search bar and you search for the product you want to compare in the search box. Now an extensive list of products matching your search will generate on your screen and you can view prices side by side and choose the best one for you. For example, this buyer search for a computer mouse. How to use Google Shopping. You click on the product that appeals to you and you will be redirected to that specific brand or platform, platform's website where you can make your purchase. And then you can see the mouse here on Amazon. So after you search for your product, a list of filters will appear to the left of the products that appear on your screen. For example, price range, brand and condition. To apply a filter to your search, simply check the box next to the one you want. So save items. You save and make collections of the products you like and are considering purchasing. It is similar to making a shopping slash wish list. And you click the three lines in the top left corner of the website. And second, you click on your saved items to access them. So how to save an item. After clicking on the item, click the save button in the top right to add it to your saved items. And here we have a picture demonstrating where it would be. So Yahoo Shopping. It has similar functions to Google Shopping. It also tracks prices. And we have a link here as well. So that way you can access it. Some features of Yahoo Shopping are menu bar at the top of the home page. The home takes you back to the main page. Deals, choose from a long list of categories to find sales. Stores, find a list of featured stores on Yahoo Shopping. The price tracker tracks prices with the Yahoo account. Categories, shop in the department of your choice. Shopping inspiration. It helps you find ideas and follow shopping trends. So how do you shop uh, Yahoo Shopping? One, you search for the product you want to find in the search bar. Now, an extensive list of products matching your search will generate on your screen and you can view prices side by side and choose the best one for you. And in this example, the buyer search for headphones. So you click on the product you wish to purchase or gain more information about. Click on the purple shop on amazon.com or the supplier of the product button and you will be redirected to the website in which you can purchase the product. Some filters. 
Just like for Google Shopping, after you search for a product, a list of filters will appear to the left of the products that appear on your screen. For example, price range, age range, and stores. Other price comparison websites are BizRate, Camel, 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 and Next Tag. And here's a live demo. So now, thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register a one-on-one -on -one phone or web session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays.